sing praises, sing your praises. It is good to give thanks unto you, Lord. And sing your praises, sing your praises. It is good, it is good to give thanks to you, Lord. Sing your praises, sing your praise. Come on, everybody, get your Bible out today. Psalm 92. Psalm 92, I've been anointed with fresh oil. Somebody say, thank God. Anointed with fresh oil by the living God. I love it, Lord. Go to Psalm 92, the song of praise. This is verses 1 and 2. A little spontaneous song for the afternoon. It is good to give thanks to you, Lord. And sing your praises, sing your praises. It is good. This is verse one. To give thanks to you, Lord. And sing your praises, sing your praises, O Most High. O Most High. O Most. O Most. He is the Most High God. Woo! Ain't nobody touching that. Ain't anybody fool with that. It is good to give thanks unto you, Lord. And sing your praises, sing your praises. Yeah, it is good to give thanks unto you, Lord. Sing your praises, sing your praises, O Most High. O Most High. Psalm 92, 150 psalms in the scripture. We love it, Lord. We can do them twice a year, all the way through the book of Psalms. Wow, it's so beautiful. We declare your loving kindnesses in the morning. Praises, sing praises. It is good 
to give thanks unto you, Lord, and sing praises, sing praises, O Most High, O Most High. Let's enter in deep before the throne in the river of God. They sing it out. Oh, it is good to give thanks unto you, Lord, and sing praises, sing your praises. It's so very good to give thanks unto you, Lord, and sing your praises, sing your praises, O Most High. I love it that he's the most high. Almost, almost high. If you're jumping on just right now, a little bit late, or in Psalm 92, it is good to give thanks to the Lord and sing praises to your name. Verse 5, O oh Lord, how great are your works. Okay, yeah. Huh. Oh, get it, O oh Lord. How great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. And verse 10, but my horn, my strength, I've been anointed with fresh oil. Oh, God. <laughs> Give me a second. Just saying it. Verse 10, Psalm 92. But my horn, my strength, I've been anointed with fresh oil. Verse 12, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. They will still bear fruit in their old age. Check it out, bro. I'm not old yet, but I'm older. <laughs> the righteous flourish like a palm tree. So many self-evident promises in the Psalms. It's so powerful. Wow. And the righteous will flourish like a palm tree because they've been anointed with fresh oil from the Lord himself. They shall bear fruit in old age. Thank you, Lord, for that. And on my instrument, verse 3, of 10 strings on the lute and on the harp. What are you doing, Kent? Well, I'm making a harmonious sound. I've got my little piano, my little harp of 10 strings. And I'm making harmonious sounds. Here is the theme, verse 3. Your loving kindness and faithfulness, Lord, which is brought right from verse 2. It is with the string, ten string harp and viol. It is with the music of voice and zither. With resounding music, I give you praise. With the melody of the lyre, I give you praise. With the rippling sound of the harp, I sing praises. Three things, so powerful. I'm in verse three. With resounding music, I give you praise. With the melody of my piano. The rippling sound of the harp, I give praise. I sing, pray, and give praise to you. With melodies of praise, I will fill the air with every musical instrument. And I've joined it with my heart. The passion says, I overflow with worship. With melodies of praise, joined with my heart. It's flowing from my heart. It's overflowing with, with worship. Verse 4, for you, Lord, have made me glad through your works. You have made me glad. You have made me glad. I will rejoice for you have made me glad.
Somebody out there say amen. Let, let's don't overlook the obvious. How great. How great are your works, Lord. Stay here for a minute. Oh, Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know nor does a fool understand this. Isn't this wonderful? Wow. How magnificent are your works, O Jehovah. How incomprehensible great are your thoughts, Lord. Lord, your works are magnified greatly. <laughs> your thoughts are so very deep. An unwise man shall not know these things. This is what the ignorant do not know. And a fool shall not understand these things. Stop right there, you guys. So you know, oh Lord, you've been studying the word. How great are your works, Lord. We're in Psalm 92, verse 5 and 6. Your thoughts are very deep. Well, it's good to know that. I would imagine so. I mean, if you and I can have semi-deep thoughts, <laughs> what does that mean about our infinite God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit? What mighty miracles your power at work. This is the Passion Translation. Just to name a few. What mighty miracles your power at work. It's, it causes mighty miracles. The depths of purpose and layers, meaning saturated everything you do. The depth of purpose and layers of meaning, they saturate everything you do, Lord. Such amazing mysteries found with every miracle that nearly everyone seems to miss. Those with no discernment can never really discover the deep and glorious secrets hidden in your ways. Wow. Wow. Hear it again. Those with no discernment can never really discover the deep and glorious secrets hidden. That's why you want to sit before the Lord. I'd say for 70, 80% of all believers, oh, sitting still. We're like workaholics in America. We're busy all the time. We're still finding a lot of our identity and our accomplishment. The Lord said, that's not what I have for you. Your identity is in me and is covered by grace. Thanks for sharing, Ken. I know. <laughs> Took me years to figure that out. Might as well share it. But he said, with what? With the mighty miracles, your power is at work. We see it in the mighty miracles. And depths of purpose and layers of of meaning saturate everything you do. That's what I I love how I thought I knew a scripture and all of a sudden he goes, Well, let me show you this, Ken. There's like, you know, one hundred layers and you you know ten. I <laughs> go, okay, good. And then verse six, such amazing mysteries found within every miracle. I might have to sing that. Such amazing 
mysteries found within every miracle what was it such amazing mysteries found within every miracle yes such amazing mysteries found within every miracle Nearly everyone seems to miss these mysteries. Nearly everyone seems to miss the deepness of your miracles and the mysteries. Open the eyes of our hearts. Open the eyes of our hearts, Lord. We might see the mysteries in your miracles, miracle mysteries. Open the eyes of my heart, yeah. Open the eyes of my heart. We want to behold the mysteries within the miracles, Lord. Oh, that's so good. Now we're going to scroll on down to the last couple verses. I've been anointed with fresh oil. Fresh oil. Scroll that down, Matt, yeah. Psalm 92. But my horn, we're in verse 10. But my horn, that is my strength. You've been exalted like a wild ox. I've been anointed with fresh oil. Oh my God. I've been anointed. And so have you. Jesus said, I'm leaving. And I'm sending back somebody in my place. The Paracletos. He will lead you and guide you into all the truth and all the revelation that you'll ever need. He'll anoint you with fresh oil and eyes to see. Lord, you've anointed me with the refreshing oil of your blessing. Oh, man, we're going to have to stay there for a second. This is the voice translation. It says, you have. You have anointed me. You have anointed me with the refreshing oil of your blessing yeah, yeah. you have anointed me you have anointed me with the refreshing oil of your come on sing it with me yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you have anointed me you have anointed me with the refreshing oil, Lord, of your blessing. Isn't it awesome? Verse 10, Psalm 92, you have anointed me. Ow. You have anointed me with the refreshing oil of your blessing. You have poured, you have poured over me fresh oil. poured over me the finest of every oil Lord you have poured over me fresh oil oh my God thank you Lord you have poured over me the finest of your oils I am covered richly Anointed with fresh, I've, I've been covered richly, anointed head to toe with fresh oil. And here's the passion. Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. I said your anointing has made me strong and mighty. You've empowered my life for triumph. 
and you did it by pouring fresh oil all over me. <laughs> Do your own study on it, you guys. Oh my God. That was the thing. When I first started leading worship, I was 20 years old, and people come and say, Kid, you're so anointed, bro. I said, You don't know me. The devil's trying to wear me out with little idiosyncrasies, things that I hadn't corrected yet in my life. And the Lord said, Oh, no, it's true, kid. 1 John 2.20, you have received an anointing, an unction from the Holy One. What? You, 1 John 2.20 and 27, You've received an anointing. You received it from an unction from the Holy One. And actually says, you know all things. You'll know all things when you need to know them. Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. You've empowered my life for triumph by pouring fresh oil over me. You know, we've seen people lay hands on other folks. I mean, call for the elders of the church. They'll anoint them with oil pretty sweet they anoint people at you know it could be a uh, licensing uh, service or event or when they ordain somebody they lay hands on them with oil but in this case Jesus anointed you with fresh oil thanks for sharing Kent I know it's so rich and it? so good Jesus anointed you with the power of it, the Holy Spirit wow You've anointed me. You've anointed me with the refreshing oil of your blessing. Yeah. You've anointed me. You've anointed me with the refreshing oil of your blessing. Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. What you say, I said, Lord, your anointing has made me strong and mighty. Yeah, yeah. Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. Empowered my life for victory. By pouring fresh oil. By pouring fresh oil over me. Wow, this verse 10, Psalm 92. Dude, you cannot run this. And who wants to? He anointed you with fresh oil. You anointed me. You anointed me. We're going to worship with Jay Thomas's song, How We Love Your Name. Then we're going to finish with verse 12. And 13, today you've been anointed with fresh oil. How we love your name, Jesus. You're the beautiful one. We love your name. How we love your name, Jesus. You're the beautiful You came and brought us 
brought us into the reign of your grace. Oh, yeah. Let's do glory one more time. Righteous will flourish like a palm tree. Psalm 92, verse 12. Hey, welcome to your world according to Jesus. The righteous will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. We just looked this up a few weeks ago. I said they're 12 to 1400 years old, and man, man actually texted me. He said some of them are 2,000 years old. The cedars of Lebanon, in Lebanon, cedars, man. I love cedars. This is where many animals, deer will go during major storms. They'll get underneath the cedar. It's like having a raincoat on, man. If you've never been out in the woods, they're beautiful. And cedars have this snapback ability. It's a very powerful wood. It smells great. Cedar chest. But the cedars, the righteous, he promised will flourish. And palm trees also go a long time. I don't know if it's 80 or 90 years. And those who are devoted to God will flourish like budding date palm trees. They will grow strong and tall like cedars in Lebanon. So when the devil comes to oppress you or people are being mean-spirited to you, you're going to say, wait a minute, this is not my lot in life. I'm devoted to the Lord, and I will continue to flourish in the Spirit like a budding date palm tree. Not all palm trees produce fr fruit. And we are growing strong and tall like cedars in Lebanon. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Thanks for pointing it out, Lord, and leaving it as a promise in Psalm 92. Those planted in the house of the eternal will thrive in the courts of our God. Wow. Yeah, in the courts of heaven. The man who is right and good will grow like the palm tree. He will grow like a tall tree in Lebanon. Yes, look how you've been, all your lovers, they flourish like palm trees, Lord. Look at them. Each one is growing in victory and standing tall with strength. You've transplanted them into your heavenly courtyard. Whoa, wait a minute now. Woo! Passion Bible. You transplanted us out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your life and love. And this says you transplanted us into your heavenly courtyards, into all of the promises. And we are thriving before you. We got, we got to hang on for a second, man. So I'm going to read it straight up. Yes, look. Look how you made all of your lovers flourish like palm trees. Each one growing in 
victory and they're standing tall with strength. Let it get in your spirit. Verse 12, yes, look how you made all your lovers to flourish like palm trees. Each one is growing in victory. This is Old Testament psalm that is so full of New Testament truth, is it not? Wow. And you've transplanted them into your heavenly courtyard where they're thriving before you. We're thriving, thriving before you, Lord. Wow. Beautiful God. Thank you, Lord. Then 14 and 15. I learned this from the elders of my church back in 1974, 75, and that's how long I've known this passage of scripture. Our elders, some of them were 50, some were 60, some were in their 70s. Uh, Carla's not here today, but J.B. Washburn, he was like old school Pentecostal man that really it would stand in the gap. He, he said, listen, I'm bearing fruit in my old age. Get out of the way. <laughs> I don't get out of the ways of fruit of the Spirit, but he's, he was doing stuff. Bearing fruit. Bearing fruit. Even in an old age, they're fresh, full of sap, and flourishing like a green tree. <laughs> <laughs> They're fresh. They'll be fresh and full of sap. <laughs> and flourishing like a green tree. I go, okay. And by the way, the reason that we'll still be bearing fruit in the old age, verse 15 declares it, to declare that the Lord is upright. I'm going to be here, 80, 85, or 90, to declare that the Lord is upright to the next coming generations and that the Lord, if you'll let him, will be your rock and there's no unrighteousness in him. See, there's a reason for 14 spelled out in verse 15, Psalm 92. Thank you, my new friend, Psalm 92. The voice says they will bear fruit into old age and even in the winter, they'll be green and full of sap. And if you ever, but the chains I got to take down a tree, man, it just flowing big time in the spring. That thing will just gush and gush. But it says even in winter, they're going to be green and full of sap, meaning they're alive, fully alive. What? Fully alive in the Lord. They will still give fruit when they are old. Oh, that's even something different. They will still be bearing fruit when they're old. They'll be full of life and strength. Thank you. Yes, yes, I'm taking that in Jesus' name. And they will show that the Lord is faithful, that he is their rock, and there is nothing in him that is not right and good. And in the passion, it says, for in your presence, it starts verse 14. Because of your presence, we still overflow and we're still anointed. Even in their old age, they will stay fresh, bearing. <laughs> They're bearing luscious fruit and abiding faithfully. <laughs> I'm glad to know I'm 68 now. Carla's a couple years older. I'm still bearing luscious fruit for Jesus, leading worship, singing about his presence and his glory. <laughs> your kingdom come, your will be done. And the passion continues. Listen to these people that are older, that are still flowing in the anointing, bearing luscious fruit, because with pleasure, they're still proclaiming, God, you're so good. God, you're so good. My beautiful string, you never make a mistake with me, God, you're so good, what? Oh, Lord, you're so good, you're my beautiful string, you never make a mistake with me, yeah, God, you're so good, 
God, you're so good. You are my beautiful strength. You never make a mistake with me. Yeah. God, you're so good. Woo. God, you're so good. You're my beautiful strength, and you never make a mistake with me. And let this just be a reminder. You've been anointed with fresh oil back in verse 10. You've been anointed with the refreshing oil of his blessing. You've exalted me by giving excessive strength and stately grace within the realm of your anointing. The Amplified Classic says, this anointing that you've given me has given me excessive strength and stately grace to walk every day and fulfill my destiny. You have poured over me fresh oil. And what would that mean in the spirit you, you gave me? The, you poured the finest oils over me, the Holy Spirit being the symbol of fresh oil. Wow, it's a good day for Jesus. It's a good day for Jesus. Psalm 92, memorize your favorite verses, and then shout to the Lord, all the earth let us sing. Sarah Gibson Goswick, thank you, Lord, that even though I'm getting old, I'm still sappy for the Lord. <laughs> well, sappy and sassy, I guess. <laughs> I love it. I couldn't, Matt put it up and he confirmed it. Oh, and I love Lily of the Valley, Rose of Sharon, the fragrance of your name, Sylvia. But we're staying sappy for the Lord. That's a, we'll get t-shirts made. <laughs> Bumper stickers are coming. Not really, but we're. I'm still sappy for the Lord. I love it, man, because a lot of people are sassy. They don't like that. But that means you got vim and vigor on the end, so we're still sappy. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. One more time. Shout to the Lord. All the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King.
see you tomorrow in the book of Ecclesiastes, bro. Woo! Man, it's been awesome for me personally, just getting the narrations ready. But I want you to be blessed in the name of Jesus. There's miles to go in a prophetic journey. And we're still in the race, fulfilling all of his destiny and plan and purposes and promises over our life. In Jesus' name, love you guys. See you soon. Woo! God bless. Shalom.